this is G from Outlier Automation. I'm at Pec, Pec Expo in Las Vegas. I'm here with Friedrich with the Beckoff product team. We're talking about the MX system. So what is this? What do we have on the board here in front of us? Well, what we have here is like basically everything you see everywhere else, all the Beckoff products in the new enclosure that enables you to build panel-free machines. Okay, so what does that mean? Like, what does that mean versus traditional? What it typically is Well, done? traditional, if you, let's say, you got an I.O. or uh, a small drive, you use a terminal block, but the terminal block, you have to put it inside a panel. But with this thing, you can just get rid of the panel. Gotcha. Because it's, once you mounted it, it's all IP67, and then you can just put it on the machine where you have some space and you don't need to waste, like, big volume of your machine with a control cabinet that is probably almost empty. So this can go like right next to where it's being used. I see here that you have, I guess this is a 480 supply here with drives. Yes. So now I'm thinking like arc flash, like what, <laughs> what, what's here is that like make sure that this is still safe to use in this format. Well everything you have in the panel that is for safety reasons there, like fuses and stuff like that, it's all integrated. The main circuit breakers here, and if we're talking about the 24 volt um, voltage devices, all of those small devices have like electronic fuses integrated and it's all to just to make sure it's all UL 508 so you can use it and it's CSA and IC so once you have your system up and running you can just use it anywhere on the planet. Okay. So that sounds actually like a lot more efficient, right? Because you kind of have done the pre-engineering work to make sure that that is all to the standard. And then I guess someone's just kind of like putting these together, assembling it much easier. Is that the idea? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you have a look at this, I mean, you need a base plate. And basically the base plate is yeah, probably what you could consider as what's left of the panel. Because that's where you usually have your wiring and where you make your errors. And here it's just plug and play. You can just place it anywhere and it will work. Gotcha. So this is like standard cabling, standard ports, and I guess standard I.O. too, right? Like it's like, is it one-to-one -one with the traditional I.O.? Yes. Uh, as far as the, okay, gotcha. So, but the difference may be that if you use a terminal block, there's special terminals where you just have the I.O.s, like 16 I.O.s, and you need to get your power supply for the sensor somewhere else. So this is all in the one uh, plug here. So it's always like one sensor to one of those plugs. Gotcha. And the power goes through this this back plane and there's circuit protection, right? Yes. Gotcha. Wow. So that's like pretty much the full solution. And I guess what happens if it's not covered in this solution? What can people do if it's some special component that's not covered in your yes. current product line? So uh, we don't show it here right now, but there's a module that is about this size with a coverage here where you can just place any third party component inside as long as it fits. And inside you'll have the possibility to yeah, plug tape into the EtherCAT and the 24 and 48 volt power supply. You've got an access on the below if you need something else. So basically you could put any component that fits in there on the base plate. And we have a, like a big extension unit that you could plug at the end, but then it's only IP52. Okay, gotcha. Well, it seems much more efficient. Uh, I guess overall the cost of ownership could be lower. Is yeah, definitely. Right? If okay. you consider the cost of ownership, the total cost of ownership, if you like compare an MO1008 to an EL1008, the MO1008 will be more expensive. Right. Yeah, coming from a control systems integrator standpoint, I feel like I'm always like, where are the wires going, all of this stuff, and I just like want people to just plug it in, you know, and that's like the, the yeah, real advantage so. here. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for talking to me today, yeah. and thanks for joining me at the show. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, you.